Hello, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to episode 32. My name is Richard Ishwood, registered nurse, and work out of my clinic in the UK called No More Earwax in the northwest of England. Uh, right, biggest earwax removal to date. This has got a bit of everything. I hope you're going to enjoy this one as much as I did. Um, it's a bit of a glare on the first, on the first one. Um, it was quite dark this wax, so I had to turn the light up a little bit. But as you can see, it, when these bits of skin at the front, and especially off the um, tube itself, it does tend to glare a little bit. But um, it gets better uh, later on, I promise. And it, uh, yeah, it, it looks like a really good one. It's a really aesthetically pleasing one because I know a lot of you guys um, love certain types. You know, some look better than others if it's too hairy or too oily. It can be a bit blurry as it is at the moment. But uh, on the whole, this one looks really good and really satisfying one. This was actually, um, this is the right here, I think, to, that we're starting with. Now, it might be a bit wobblier than, than it usually is than some of the other videos. Uh, reason for that being, this was actually a home visit. So I don't just see people um, in the clinic, majority I do. Um, unfortunately, the building that I'm in, in my room, I'm actually upstairs and we don't have a lift. So thankfully, I usually always remember when I'm taking appointments to ask people, are you okay with stairs before you get up, uh, before you come here? And a couple of times I've forgotten and then people have looked at the stairs, they oh, no, I can't get up then. We're managing the end. Anyway, thankfully I remembered to ask this gentleman on the phone and said, are you okay with stairs? And he said, uh, no, not really. And I said, all right, okay, do you want any help up them? What's, what, what's the problem? He said, well, I've only got one leg. I'm right, oh, okay, then I'll let you off then. So in those instances, because you, you have to treat everybody you possibly can. Um, so I went to see him at home, which thankfully was only a couple of minutes down the road anyway. So the reason why it is a little bit wobblier is the gentleman was in his wheelchair and was in his home and I was, I was actually um, on my knees. I stood on, on one knee and on one foot trying to balance at the side of him because I couldn't really get a, a chair uh, close enough to him um, and it, 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 it was the best position that I could get in to be honest but like I said that may explain why it's a little bit wobbly at times um, because I'm not the steadiest on my feet or on my knees but uh, I, I still felt perfectly safe to do you know it's not that wobbly that it's dangerous in any way uh, but as you can see this one it's a massive chunk that's coming out of this one now, whilst I've said, and there's a bit of everything in it, there's skin, but uh, um, you name it, it's all in there. Now, this gentleman didn't realise, as did I, just exactly how much was in there. He knew he was having a bit of trouble hearing. Didn't realise realize exactly how much there was. Um, and stay tuned for the ruler shot at the end. Well, it's not a ruler shot, it's a pen shot. Because it was a home visit, I didn't actually take everything with me, so I didn't have the ruler to take a picture of it with. Um, but... So, but so the, the, the length of the uh, pens, I think they're about 15 centimetres long. And when we got all this and laid it out next to a pen, as you'll see at the end, it, it, if I'd have stretched it out across the hole, it would have filled nearly the whole the, the whole length of the pen. Uh, it was a biggie. Um, so I don't know if it's a record or not because I couldn't confirm it or deny it against a ruler. I'll be honest, I don't keep a record of these anyway. I just know it was a bigger. It was a proper big and look at nice and shiny, clean, clear ear canal with uh, what looks like a very healthy eardrum. So that was number one. Number two, now this gave me a little bit more of a challenge. This you can see this this um, is quite a, a bit of skin debris in here, and you tend to get because uh, we shed skin everywhere. The ear canal is no different, but it's supposed to move from the inside out. Doesn't always do it uh, well enough. Uh, there's a few lovely juicy skin ribbons that come out in these. I know there's a few fans of those. Um, I don't know if this is a record or not, but yeah, I've got some pretty long ones. So yeah, while you're watching this, um, we'll have a little chat like we normally do. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't really planned anything to talk about. Um, as I, I'll be honest, I, re I rarely do anyway, to be honest. Like I said on yesterday's video, uh, I don't plan these. Do them all in one take. What comes out, comes out. <laughs> don't have a script or anything. Um, I wouldn't stick to it if I did anyway. 
<clears throat> but what I do want to know is, I'm getting a lot of comments from people all over the um, all over the world, and in fact, telling me where you watch it from. I, uh, it still fascinates me, and I, I really enjoy reading them all. Try to respond to every single one. But what I do want to know, and tell me in the comments down below, is why you like watching this stuff. Now, I get it mostly. It's quite satisfying. Um, you see a problem, and you see it slowly being fixed, and you're like. There's the money shot at the end, nice clear eardrum, but uh, what does it get, what what do you get out of it personally? Because um, so, I know a lot of people watch it for education, a lot of people watch it just because they're generally fascinated by it and they're looking at it like that and say, whoa, look at all that. Um, a lot of people find it quite relaxing. I've even known some people that, you know, they watch one at night before they go to sleep because it just helps them relax, you know. Why that would be the case when you're listening to me waffling on, I've got no idea. But um, but yeah, just let me know why you watch it and what, what it does for you. Have a look at this one. Lovely little couple of skin tails on the end of that one. And again, that's brought forward uh, a wonderful skin ribbon, this one I think it is. I think it's this one. And it, it just kept coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. So every time I brought out one bit, it brings a bit from further back behind. And there was a deep bit left in at the at, at the end as well, um, which you might enjoy. Um, but this one was a really satisfying. So I'm trying to bring it out as slowly as I can because I don't want it to detach. And trying to get it out in um, in one go, but it's just a bit too brittle. It tends to detach when it's like this. Um, but yeah, let me know why why. Why can't I watch these things? Look at this little skin <laughs> st sticking out the ear there. That's brought a huge one. Now, I have my own theory on this. Um, I blame, no, I'm not blame, but I think who can take a lot of credit for all of this type of stuff is uh, Dr. Pimple Popper. You know, the lady um, in America, I can't remember her name now. She kind of started all this, didn't she? Uh, she had this TV show where um, she was either squeezing or operating and cutting out all kinds of weird things out of people's skin, abscesses, boils and all that, and people just found it immensely satisfying to watch. And I think since then, there's been a proliferation, there you go, word of the day for you, I don't think I've said that word in years, don't know where that came from, of things like um, spot squeezing, um, what's the other one, blackhead squeezing, I see a lot of them, a lot of people uh, like watching those, <laughs> you're all odd, you're really odd. Um, What's the other ones I've seen? Oh, uh, I've seen some quite a lot of uh, podiatry ones or cropodists, depending on what you, are, you call them, wherever you're from. Look at this little juicy one, beauty. Um, of people like shaving away and growing toenails and squeezing abscesses on the end of toes. Um, another one I watched, which I found myself strangely hooked to, was there's a guy who um, looks after, I think it's either cows, bulls or horses' feet. He's called a hoof guy, or something like that. Somebody tell me. And um, like it is with the internet, you watch one thing, you get sent a load of similar type of stuff. And I think that's probably why I got I got this one in my feed. And it was a guy who was shaving across, uh, shaving the the hooves of these cows with this blade. And uh, when I first saw it, I thought, what the hell is that? But then when you're watching it like that, you think, wow, oh, that's so satisfying. That do you know what I mean? Um, Look at this. Keeps coming, keeps coming. Oh, it just broke off at the end. That is a beautiful skin ribbon. Like I said, it's a fabulous one. That and there's still more. Look at this. Now you can see it's kind of concertinaed because uh, it's all raveled up when it's in the air canal there. And then obviously when you grab hold of it, it unravels, which is why you might see like some crinkles in it. Um, it's left behind, a good old deep one quite a bit further down in the air canal. It's a bit tricky. This happened to be a bit more careful. Careful with all of it, but they weren't too difficult, these, because it was pretty much bulging out the air, so you didn't have to go in too deep. But the last bit was. But yeah, let me know if you found the, the, the hoof guy weirdly satisfying and um, why you like watching these kind of things. It's, it's odd, but it's a bit of a crazy. People watch this instead of... Is it, is it the new Netflix and chill? I don't know. I've been trying to start a, um, a hashtag. I don't know if anyone else has used it yet. I haven't seen it. It's called Earwax and Chill. Um, so, yeah, if you are sharing anything uh, in your pages, which I would really appreciate, 
try and use the hashtag ear wax and chill and let's see if we can get that becoming becoming a thing because I know it's incredibly incredibly popular these days this kind of thing um, and yeah if you like watching these things and you, you think your friends might like them too feel free to share the page whether you watch it on TikTok uh, Instagram Twitter YouTube Facebook share the love share the love I get, I get a lot of comments from people who clearly weren't meant to watch them and it just popped up in the feed and they're like, eh? what the beep is this? Um, but then yeah, after they see one, they get hooked and they're like, oh, give me the, the popcorn now. Yeah, as you can see, another epic this, but we're almost coming to the end here. So we've grabbed all of that and that was from quite deep down. I suspect that did, did go all the way down maybe even been very close to the eardrum the back end of that one and it goes without saying that the difference this gentleman noticed after we got all this out was significant it was huge because uh, all his uh, i'm sure all his friends now will be uh will be quite delighted that he's not they don't have to shout at him anymore and he's not like eh, what do you say yeah this one i think was the one that made the biggest difference to him probably because i'm the bit of a row with it on the way out this was a good year labor um, I think the video is about 12 minutes long but all in total the, the entire procedure including you know the cleaning the lens of the of the endoscope and rinsing through the tube you know it's a good 20-25 minutes um, but yeah it was a good oh look at that just flattened it out didn't realize it was that big until it actually uh, turned it around but yeah another whopper and there's still more. <laughs> I really thought that was it then. But out it comes, sprouting out the air. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, last video I posted. I tried something at the end, didn't I? Uh, where it didn't quite work, where we were doing these transition be between screens. Look at that, nice and clear. Uh, and I was trying to zoom myself out to the side. Uh, and for, for no other reason, then I was a bit bored and I thought I'll try this. So I'm gonna try it again. But I am going to zoom out which way am I going to look at this. That plug's there. Absolutely huge. Like I said, that's about 15 centimetres long, that pen. Um, so it was really, really packed in there. So yeah, don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe to any channels, follow on them if you like, heart, whatever it is. Really appreciate all of them so far. And I am going to zoom which way am I going to have to do this? Am I going that way? Come in there. I'm going to zoom off this way. Uh, but for now, take care, and I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Oh, I've done it again, wrong way. Bye.